Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. If you have video eight tape, high eight, digital eight, etc., and you are putting your tape in the camera, and it won't go, first of all. Uh, let's just make sure here. You'll be careful. You'll be really gentle with these tapes as well, because this mechanism, mechanisms um, down in there, all these little plastic and metal bits and stuff. And if your tape, you're trying to force it in or you're trying to close it. Sometimes the stickers on the tapes, if they're over the edge, or if there's stickers on the top here and it's impeding this to peel back, like, uh, let's have a look. Ah, One-handed. Um, you know, there's stickers here and it, it can't go back. You know, it's grounded, it won't shut. But anyway, that's, not the subject of this video, but just a little thing there because I had some uh, issue shutting that just then. And some people are trying to force it and close it. And it's, uh, yeah, you don't want to do that. You want to investigate as to why it's not closing. Otherwise, you're going to break stuff. So this particular tape, hit and play, it is upside down, obviously, because the, the way the loading is on this particular camera. But clearly got stuff written on the tape and you're not seeing a picture. It's coming up here, there's no picture. Now watch this, if I hit fast forward, now most companies out there, if you're looking to do this yourself or you're trying to get the, your stuff transferred, most companies don't even bother. They go, oh, blue screen, it's blank. Uh, and they put a sticker on it and you're paying for it and they go, bye. And then you get your tape back and it's got like, you know, all this, you know, oh no, not, not the birthday party or that Disney vacation, you know. Oh, they're like, no, no, sorry, can't do anything about it. But look at this, hit fast forward, you see a picture and let go and then boom it disappears so hit fast forward you can see it and then it disappears now most people think oh my tape's gone bad because it is 35 years old what that is more than likely is dirty heads so the head inside of there spinning right now still it's got dirt on it from the previous tape um, and you investigate as to what's going on so i've got a head cleaner there just like this here these are not cheap sony branded sealed well over a hundred bucks for a cleaning tape and they only get the ones from japan um, so you let that run for 10 seconds sometimes you'll have to do it a couple different times um, this one here had a I've got kind of my own cryptic writing on things. This one had a new head uh, 8 6 of 22 So new heads on these um, Including insulation you look in like, like 250 bucks 300 bucks for a new head that doesn't include the loading mechanisms either Those are additional That's the most common things that go with these TRV 138s or 128 so this cleaner here head cleaner from Japan, let's give this tape a whirl again and see what happens. Okay, and that is just how gently you should be putting it in. That's what she said. Um, so, uh, okay, so let's see. No, still nothing. Okay. Yeah, but the picture's still there. So, one of two things you run that head cleaner again. But just to save time right here, I am gonna put this in, but I'm gonna put it in another player. Cause this might need a deeper cleaning or the head replaced on it. So these are the things that I do here at Got Memories. Like this one had a new head on 821. Constant maintenance, these players. People don't understand that. And all of this stuff is in short supply and it's not cheap and this is why pretty much all video transfer companies suck is because they're not putting the money they're not reinvesting in new equipment or replacing equipment or repairing equipment they're not doing any of that crap so hold on a second here and i've got this video i'm going to take this out because it's given an error all right see even taking them out you've got to be careful tape 40 so i have ordered these i put them in order because the customer had notes written on them but they didn't put a number on it so I'm going to give this tape 40 let's see if this goes there it is the pictures right there boom same tape so I'm going to rewind it 
And uh, let's have a look here. I'm going to put this in Brian's folder and rewind that. Give it a second here. As for different cameras, I mean, it's all a crap shoot. All this stuff is old and crappy if you're picking it up online. So hit play. Now let's see uh, the image coming through. And we're going to... Oh, come on. <laughs> see, and these tapes were dirty and dusty and I had to clean them, blow them out. So this is very common. Oh, now it's not even giving a picture. What the hell? Uh, why is this? Oh, here we go. Sometimes people have um, not queued up their tapes correctly when they first started to record. Here we go. This, okay, so, this is the beginning of this tape. It's February. So he just said it. Just said it right there. This is the beginning of the tape. So there was about 40 seconds of blank at the beginning there of blue screen. Again, most companies, they just see blue screen and they're like, nah, it's blank. Or I don't know. They just, just don't do it. Or they record all the blue screen and then you've got 40 seconds of blue screen at the beginning. I start it exactly where the footage begins and I also trim the back of the footage as well. So 